Hey everyone, it's Christina. Sorry I sound like this. I've been dealing with sinus or a cold or whatever it is and the flu. Uh, I'm starting to feel better now. Um, once again, I, I have to apologize for the camera. I cannot figure this friggin' thing out for the life of me. Um, I don't know. I don't look <laughs> like the right color. Um, neither does my living room. Uh, oh well. Um, I could officially say that since March to March uh, 28th, sorry, um, of this year, I went in to have RNY, and I've gone through quite a few stalls. Um, probably about three where I haven't lost anything for like a whole week or more. Um, I don't know what week this is. I'll figure it out after I'm done. I should have been prepared, I guess. Uh, I'll figure it out after I'm done, um, recording. But I have lost a total of, I just weighed myself today, uh, 60 pounds. Um, eh. I mean, I'm happy with the, the um, number on the scale, yes, but I honestly can't see much except for in my face and, sorry guys, my boobs. <laughs> yeah. Um, I started in a size 20, um, six pants and I'm now, can pull off a 22. 24, 22. I have not been shopping since about a few weeks now, um, because I desperately needed jeans in the first place, but, um, I could probably fit into a 22. Um, size shirts, I don't really know. I haven't really bought any because I like my baggy shirts. <laughs> uh, I did happen to go through some of my old clothes that I used to wear back in, um, high school, and there's a few things I fit in now. Um, Sorry, my nose itches. Um, I have not made a video for a while because I just felt like I have not much to talk about. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, and this is what I run into. Ahs and ums. <laughs> um, <laughs> there we go again. So, life really hasn't changed too much. Um... I do the same stuff that I've always done. Uh, I notice I have more energy, but it doesn't help when you have social anxiety. Um, I'd love to go walking, but I would love to go by myself, you know, so I could throw a jog in every now and then. Uh, but I can't do it by myself. Um, it's either going to be my fiance. And, or, um, my mother and my mother had surgery, I believe it was, hold on, let me look, the 16th of May. She's doing okay. Um, she's still quite sore. Uh, I can't remember how much she says she lost. It's been, it's over 30 pounds. I do know that. Uh, but she's going through the same thing I ended up going through. I went through, I call it the funk. <laughs> I had the case of the funk. Um. I was so mad at myself um, for doing the surgery, even though I knew this is what was going to happen or it could happen before I had the surgery. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm starting to feel more like human again, obviously. Um, there are times that I still get a little upset, like my fiance will, like the other day, last night actually. My biggest weakness before I had surgery was bread, potato chips, <laughs> and he went out and bought my most favorite kind of potato chips and sat beside me and ate them. Yeah, I was not too thrilled about that. I mean, and then every now and then he'll say, um, well, you can't get mad at me. It's not my fault. I'm not the one, you know, made you have the surgery. And it's like, ugh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to fight with him about it anymore. But I try to convince myself, and this is how I try to look at things, but it doesn't always work out that way. I um, try to tell myself that, you know, 
I've had these foods all my life, and these foods are what got me to where I am. Uh, so why, why want them, you know? For another subject, excuse me, for the longest time after surgery, I was having the biggest problem trying to get all my protein in, calories, and um, liquids. I can honestly say I'm almost doing it now. I'm just figuring it out. And I told everybody, you know, it's something that I've got to figure out on my own and eventually I'll be able to do it. And I have. Um, I might get close to anywhere between 60 to 90 grams of protein a day, which that's about where my nutritionist wanted me. Um, fluids, uh, anywhere... They want me to get anywhere between 48 to 64 daily. I'm lucky if I get, I want to say 50. I haven't really done my log for a while, but I do it in my head until the end of the night, but I don't ever write it down. I don't know why. I always throw the piece of paper away if I do. Um, but now, after trying to get all that and my vitamins and that, I eat three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and supper, and I have to force myself because I honestly, I'd be rather drinking liquids than I do. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd rather be drinking liquids than eating, only because you have to wait an hour in between, and to me, I'd rather not be thirsty. <laughs> But I obviously know the importance of eating and whatnot. Um, it's not that I'm not hungry. It's just that, I don't know, I'm still kind of eh about food. Um, a lot of um, emotional, I guess. Uh, not that I'm attached to it anymore. It's, it's like it's there. I know. I'm hungry, but pfft, whatever. I'd rather have a glass of milk. Or this is what I've been drinking for my protein. Let's see if I can get it in here. I actually really love this. There are times that I go, um, and, uh, get this and, and then I hate it for a while. Also, food has a really bad taste. And then I'll go through this. Like, there'd be, like, something, everything has bad taste. But then, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's something in my head. I don't know. Um, even my protein drinks. I mean, right now, I really love these, but probably in a week, I won't, and then I'll love them again another couple of weeks. This is the way it's been going. It's a love-hate relationship with me and this um, protein. But I also um, like Click. I uh, use my Click with, um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Tarani Sugar-Free Syrup, and I put it in my bullet blender, and I put ice in it, and I crush it, and then for extra protein, I will put... Um, I have a little bit left of my Body Fortress, um, chocolate, and I'll put that, a scoop in of that, or half a scoop, I think it was, a half a scoop of that in, just to give an extra kick of protein, uh, or you could always do, like, a five gram protein of the sugar-free instant, um, carnation breakfast stuff, um, uh, my biggest problem is I have to get more calories, Calories is a big thing for me. I was lucky at first, probably about two weeks ago, I was lucky if I was getting huh, 500 calories. Um, right now, I think I'm looking at around, most days I can get about seven to 900 calories. Only one day have I made it to a, th a little over a thousand, so I'm getting there. Um, for milk, I'll drink the... Um, Simply Smart, Hood Simply Smart, only because it has 10 grams of calories, and it's 1% milk, which is 120 um, calories. Uh, <laughs> um, but I drink, I drink that because of the grams, the 10 grams, but it's, it says it's 1%, but it tastes exactly like whole milk. So if you guys are missing your whole milk, then there's the way to go. I was drinking Calorie Countdown for a while. Um, I do like it, but it's hard to get around here, and it has a required taste, I guess. Um, is, that's how I would explain it, at least. It's really thick, like a cream. Uh, 
at first I don't like it my first couple sips and then I do and like I said I have a love-hate relationship with anything that goes in my mouth lately um I don't know what else to really say um I could do a quick body shot but I'm kind of in like jogging pants but I guess I don't really see much of a difference even looking at the videos and I know that some people go through this. Um, I can see a little bit in my face, my bot. <laughs> the major area I can't really see what I was hoping to see is my thighs and my stomach. Uh, I know that I've gone down a cup size in my bra which I'm very, um, I'm not grateful about it, let's put it that way. Uh, that was like one of the major things I liked about myself was my chest and my hair and you know not chest hair but my you know hair <laughs> oh god I don't even know if I want to post this now um so as far as activities go um I haven't really been out much like I said because of social anxiety I do my resistance bands and my stability ball but it only helps so much um it's, and I only do it like three times a week to be honest, and I know I should do it more than that, but it's just I can't find my motivation anymore. I think it's because I'm getting sick of being stuck in this house, and once my mom starts feeling better, we'll get out there walking again, but I just wish I could go do it by myself, you know? Um, that way I can, you know, I have a treadmill, and I've tried the jogging thing, and <laughs> the treadmill, I last about three minutes. I know that sounds awful, don't want it. But I'm not, like, walking on it. I'm, like, jogging. But still, every time I work out with, like, my stability ball and stuff, I don't ever break out in a sweat. So, it's like, am I doing this for nothing? Am I actually getting something in or what? Um, so it's just another obstacle that I gotta climb over. Um, Okay, let's do a quick body shot. I hope you guys can see it. If not, well, I'm sorry. Um, like I said, I don't, like, I'm in my jogging, like, I call them comfy pants, okay? But, uh, I guess people call them jogging pants. And I threw on this tank top really quick. Um, so, here we go. And let me smooth this chair for a second. And then, no, oh, let's do it this way. See, I still got my belly. And my butt is smaller, significantly smaller. Um, my arms, they're a little, you know, they're, yeah, they need work. <laughs> I've been trying to use my medicine ball for it, but I need weights. Uh, and like when I'm walking, my thighs, oh, I dropped my CD. When I'm walking, um, <laughs> and I stop, my thighs jiggle and they're like still jiggling when I'm stopped. Um, but you can't really see much excess skin yet, but you can feel it. Well, I can feel it. You guys can't. <laughs> um, so, I don't know how long this video is. I've probably already gone over. Uh, I'll post what week it is. I'm sorry that I'm one of those bad people that don't come on every week. But, you know, I don't really know what to talk about anymore. Um, I'll try to be better. I don't know. I was Just keep in mind, I was in a deep depression for a while. Um, you know... I'm starting to feel more human again and not like I'm in some kind of morbid cult. And some of you are going to be like wicked mad at me for saying all this stuff, but my opinion, you know? Uh, so I guess till next time, take care.